Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video on this. It's some children wrapped around an 18-inch circle, and I stated in that video that I would run this twice. First of all, this is an 18-inch piece of wood, and you'd hate to mess it up, and this is just my personal preference. What I would do is separate the blacks from the grays, and when I did this, I only used two colors on purpose. So we're going to go to edit, find and replace, find objects, begin new search next. We want to find the fields, uniform fields next. We want a spe specific color, black, 100% black. Next, finish, find all. It'll take Corel just a little bit of time to find this, especially on my old computer, but it's done it. I'm going to take those and I've, I've got my nudge factor set on 18 inches. I have moved the black out of the way for 18 inches. I'm going to take and I'm going to group these together. So these are all my grades. So I would put these and run this in your laser like at 50 speed or 100 speed, 50 power. And then let's group these, control G. And then I would move these out of the way, completely off the laser bed. Then, because you're using the nudge factor perfectly, these blacks will be right where they need to be with the grays. So let's bring the grays back in. So then you would run the black at like 100% or 100 speed at 50 power or something. And this is what it would look like engraved. And your, your grays would definitely be, because you could run this all at one time, but if you run at the same speed of the same power, sometimes, most of the time, these grays are going to engrave just as dark as the blacks. Of course, this is my personal preference, but I think you'd be a lot happier if you did it my this way. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.